Hello, and welcome to the Drug Life Cycle Minute. I'm your host, Philip Day. My guest today is Dr. Mukesh Kumar, the Chief Innovation Officer of Drug Life Cycle DLTA. Hello, Dr. Kumar. Hi, Philip. <clears throat> Great to have you here today. Thank you for taking time out to do our program. It's my pleasure. Our topic today is product life cycle management. My first question is, what are the main reasons for delay? There are many, uh, and depending on who you ask, you would get a big list of the reasons for delay. But in my opinion, the most common reason for delay for new drugs coming to market is clinical trials. Uh, clinical trials take the, most, uh, the longest time in any drug development cycle, and they're the ones that usually go wrong the most often. That leads to people having to do them again or go back to regulators and get new approvals. So clinical trials take the most time and also are the most challenging part of, uh, of any drugs approval. What would you say are the, the current solutions that are available? Um, there, are, there are a lot of solutions available. Uh, most of them are customized solutions developed by the project managers, by companies. The most common tools people use are still based off Microsoft, uh, Microsoft products. Things such as Microsoft Excel is still very commonly used where project managers will create a worksheet and then follow whatever is on that worksheet. Or more sophisticated project managers may use project, uh, Microsoft project. And uh, again, same thing, it has you know, uh, built-in tools that help you navigate a project. Uh, and then people have also developed customized tools. Uh, each company has its own version of some small thing they do to make it easy. Uh, to do uh, to manage a drug uh, to manage a clinical trial project. So there are many solutions out there. There is no standardized solution. There is no one solution that everybody uses. There is no solution that's more popular than others. I understand. Well, what are the differences? The main differences in similarities in the products. Well, the similarities are obvious. They all come from mm -hmm. Microsoft projects. So either Excel or Microsoft Project, uh, they look similar. They, they are you know, more or less the same tools that everybody has been using. Uh, differences are more in terms of the users who use them. Everybody, as I told you, develop mm -hmm. their own tools. Right. And when they do, there are differences based on their preferences. Uh, even within the same company, uh, tools may have variations based on the project managers, what they like and don't like. Even the same kind of trials, uh, would take a lot of uh, slightly different tools. I see. Well, finally, how can automation help in this process? Well, uh, the irony of this whole discussion is that clinical trials uh, are, are a very well understood project. We have uh, about 50 years of history doing modern clinical trials and we do tens of thousands of them at any given time. Mm -hmm. And 90% of, of the work we do in any given trial is identical to another trial. So there are a lot of common processes, a lot of common themes. Uh, the challenge is that people you know, still not, are not able to maximize on those similarities. They are more focused mm -hmm. on the differences. Automation, most of these uh, not, those common tasks can be automated uh, to avoid people wasting time on things that don't really matter. Project managers spend about half of their time chasing projects, either doing meetings, update meetings, doing emails, and, and whatnot. And all that can be eliminated with automation. So automation can certainly help a lot in not only doing trials on time, but also doing more accurately, reducing the risk of failure and so on. Well, as we close today, what are your thoughts on um, drug life cycle management and how DLTA works with that? Well, Delta is a uh, is an automation tool. It basically yeah. takes the, the, the similarity of the processes and plots them in a software so people don't have to remember. They can just use the software and, and, and do the mundane tasks automatically. Uh, it, it has a lot of different things. And I think there's a tutorial on our website that you may want to see, which would give you a very good idea as to what we do. But it, it is there to make it easy for people to run complex clinical trial projects. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Dr. Mukesh, thank you so much for your time. This was fascinating. And we look forward to talking with you every week for the very near future. And uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you Philip. It's my pleasure to talk about, talk about we it. We appreciate this. And thank you all for joining us for the Drug Lifecycle Minute.
You can find out more about us at druglifecycle.com. And please like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn. And take control with DLTA. Have a healthy day.